right. So, got my ultramarine blue. And this pretty thin. But these are just um, undertones. So they're going to be under the skin. Well, under all. There won't, the goal is to make it look like it's under the skin. Uh, and make sure you don't have any blue on you because, yeah, blue stains really quickly. Okay, and dab off as much as possible. So this is what she looks like. She just has a little bit of creasing. I'm gonna start with the bridge of the nose. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> I'm like kind of scared already like gonna be really hard to get off oh okay that wasn't too bad all right i'm also gonna do it in the on the eyelids and under the eyes she's a pretty cute kid i'm really excited to see how she's gonna look when she's all done So I just did the tops of her eyelids and a little bit under. We're going to do it on the center of the forehead and in her temples as well. So oh, we got to go so quick though. I almost want to grab a spoon. Sponge. Yeah, let me grab a sponge because I really don't want this to look bad. Um, I'm gonna use our beauty brush and gotta be really careful because the last thing I want is for her to look like she's got a big bruise on her forehead. It's not the look I'm going for. Hmm. So I'm still pretty new at this, like, like undertones, I actually don't do them, but I discovered that they actually make the doll look pretty good. So this is my first time doing it this way, I'm actually, I saw somebody else doing this, so. So yeah, it's super super light. I don't know if you can even see. It's kind of the goal is to have it be translucent and just be under the skin. It's right here. And then I'll also do it in the temples. You can feel where her temples are. Wherever the skin is thin, where I want it to go. So I do, well, this is the first time I'm doing these colors of undertones. I'm doing a ultramarine, ultramarine blue, yellow, um, doing it in a uh, purple 06, kind of a lavender-y color, um, and a periwinkle color, which is such a fun color. I think it's like gorgeous, which is this one. Not quite the same. Okay, and then we're doing around the nostrils, around here, and inside the nostrils. Um, there's a little bit of red paint already inside her nostrils. I'm going to use this smaller brush. I've made one other set of twins that were girls. 
this is going to be set twins. Um, I have not decided if I want them to be boy girl, two girls, two boys. I made one set of two girls, which was so much fun dressing them alike and like posing them. It was a lot of fun. And I want to do it again. At the same time, I feel like twin boys would be really, really cute. Or maybe one of each. I don't know. I'm gonna redo the nostrils because I can't even see it. I want to be able to see it a tiny bit, not too much. Okay, so now the inside, the nostrils is painted. And out around. I thought I just got paint on there. <laughs> um, okay, and then I'm gonna paint the oh. lighting. It's not great. Okay. I'm gonna paint from the nostril down to the mouth super lightly, and I'm going to pounce it off with a brush very quickly afterward because blue is just. And you can't get it out like once it's on it better be right where you want it because it's not going anywhere afterwards Gonna do this side because I can't even see it. I want to see it a little bit, it's not too much. What? How did she get blue down here? That's weird. See that like one little second I didn't. Blend it and now there's a blue line there. Okay, right. so you can't really see. And that's one of the hard things about reborning is it takes a while for you to like see your progress. It takes a minute because you want the washes to be light, but at the same time, you want to see progress. And if you do it too dark, you're kind of screwed. Okay, that's good. And then outside the corners of the mouth, so in her little right here, um, we're going to do some blue here. And then under her lips, so this part. And also um, this neck crease right here. What is happening? a little fuzzy or something. Um, not, not this neck crease. I meant this neck crease. Just a little bit of blue there. Um, also I'm going to do a tiny bit in the ears because I think that a little bit in the ears is nice. Looks good. Just 
super thin. I really do not like Marnie's ears. And I'm discovering they're not very easy to paint either. I don't like that they look like elf ears. I don't know any newborns who have folded ears like that. Like, I almost thought at first when I first opened it, like, did they give me a defective kit or something? But no. Yeah, I really like the, the blue in the ears. Also, we do, well, I do, <laughs> um, red and purple and stuff in the ears too. And then I'm going to be doing some blue in on the palms of the hands and the bottoms of the feet and the ankles. Um, so I'll show you that when I'm done with it. Okay, so I did um, my blue highlights and my, or not highlights, undertones, my blue undertones and my yellow undertones. So this is her face now. Let's see if it'll focus on her. So I did yellow up here. Um, some blue and yellow in her ears, blue and yellow up here. Um, on her eyes, I did blue and yellow. Under here is some yellow, and her nose is yellow. And yeah, she's looking pretty cute. And then blue, yeah. And um, I also did her hands and her feet. Um, right. So these are her feet. She's got blue in here, you can't really see. Um, and also yellow here, and yellow on the knuckles, and blue on the knuckles, and some blueing around the ankle that you can't really see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, the point of it is to be light. Um, it's just an undertone. And I'll show you her little hand. So she's got blueing in here, and yellowing on top of her hand, and yellowing on her knuckles, and blueing as well. So I'm going to bake that. And then after I'm done baking that, I'm gonna do these facial highlights. So these will just be um, on her face, um, the periwinkle and the violet, or not the violet, the lavender. <laughs> so after I'm done baking that, then we'll do these. Okay, so I did my periwinkle and lilac highlights so oh I also did some blushing as well so she's been baked this is what she looks like now so her ears are blushed she looks really cute so this is the blank that what I started with now she looks like that and I blushed her limbs She's really sweet. And I think I might do a second layer of blush, but maybe not. But yeah, so now that that's done, um, I'm gonna do some veining and then we'll move on to Modeling and um, possibly more color washes, but I don't know. I think I want to keep her skin pretty fair, um, but maybe we'll do some more color washes. And I think she needs more blushing on her ears. They're pretty light, so 